Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I got another Super Bowl from the past for you. Super Bowl, my Super Bowl three replay went so well that today we're going to replay Super Bowl twelve. And again, I will take the losing team just as I did in Super Bowl three's replay. So I will be taking the 1977 Denver Broncos against the 77 Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys actually won that game 27 to 10, um, but Denver had eight turnovers in the game, and they ended up having to play Norris Weiss at quarterback, which I am going to try to avoid doing. So let's get going. Launch the game. And uh, let me go up here to game options and I will auto play the visiting team, which I have designated as Dallas, since I remember that the uh, Broncos had their dark orange jerseys on. So, um, okay, so let's do the Dallas kickoff. I'm assuming Dallas will get it in the second half. I don't know what really happened, but this uh, uh, Rick Upchurch returning the uh, kickoff and a nice one too. Got it out to the 32 for us. We'll go pro set and I'll go flat pass to the tight end. Craig Morton at quarterback, as I would expect, and it is complete. We got nine yards on that, eight yards. So let's try a uh, line buck since we were so close to the first down with the uh, halfback. And he gets stopped, so it's going to be third and two. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that in, and let's go off tackle with the fullback and he gets the first down and what happened there okay i guess we just he just got the first down and that was it so we have a first and 10 at our 49 so let's go let's go ahead and run with the halfback And he gets some good yards. Nice, five yards on that. I'll go, let's try the end run again. And run halfback. That time he gets squashed. No gain, so we got a third and five. Let's go flat, flat to the tight end worked real well to Odom. So let's try that again. Oh, they, Buttoned it up, so we're going to have to punt. But at least we had good field position from which to punt. And then we, we knocked Dallas deep in their end. And here comes Staubach bringing those Dallas Cowboys out. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to look for the run, I suppose. And we're looking for the run, and they still got a lot six or five yards on that i'll look for the run again start back back to pass going deep and hitting his man unfortunately so for a lot of yards they got a first and 10 at our 48 or at, at uh is it at our 48 no at theirs first and 10 at their 48 and they will i'm gonna Put in the run again, and there was an off, probably a penalty on him. Yeah, he's got a first and 15 at his 43. So I will put in the run again. And uh, he does, and this time we don't allow, well, we still allowed him five yards. All right, so he's got a second and ten. This time I'm going to I'm going to put in the balance. We'll just put in the balance defense, and we sack Staubach. Nice. So he's got a third and eighteen. Definitely looking pass on that. 
And we're after Starback. He's out and on the run, and we got him. So they have to punt on 4th and 15. We'll put in the punt return team. He did get good yards, though, on that bomb. So Danny White punting, who would later take over as quarterback of Dallas. Uh, I'm going to try to catch it and return it with Upchurch. See what we can do. Upchurch, yes! Oh, man, this is a great return by Rick Upchurch. Real good return. Oh, he's still going. Unbelievable. It's going to be a touchdown return by Rick Upchurch. Nice. That was sweet. And I was thinking, you know, let's, let's just take it there. But no. So, yeah, let's get the extra point in. And just like that, we got a 7-0 lead on Jim Turner's field goal. And uh, he'll kick off. 7-0 Denver, unreal, on a Rick Upchurch punt return as the first score of the game. Butch Johnson gets a good return for Dallas. Uh, I'm still going to put in the, well, I'm going to put in the balance. That worked pretty well last time, actually. All right, they run the ball, and we do stop them. Uh, this time we'll put in the pass. And now he runs it. But we still got him in the backfield. Sweet. Now he's got a uh, he's got a third and nine. So we're definitely going to put in the pass. Pass defense in. And we're sacking Staubach. He's got a punt. I don't know. I don't know how Dallas actually ended up winning this game. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, this time they're going to let it bounce. And we got it at the 24, first and 10. I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback Armstrong. And he only gets a yard, so. Let's go line buck with the fullback Perrin. No, Lytle. They put in a new halfback, so hey. Fresh guy, but the fresh guy doesn't get anything, so. <clears throat> We got to put in a pass, and we're going to go short to Upchurch. Let's see if... Oh! There's a fumble! Looks like he got it. All right, so I'm going to put in the run. We fumbled and lost the fumble. And it looks like maybe a penalty on us. <clears throat> uh, put in the run... We do stop him. He's got a second and real short. I'm going to run and key on door set. And he passes to door set. So I'm going to put in the run. And that's incomplete. So he's got a second and goal to seven. I'm going to put in the, uh, I'm going to run and key on door set. All or nothing there. And it's incomplete. I'm putting in the pass. I don't think he's going to try to run it from seven yards out. And he does. All right, well, tied the game. Put the kick defense in. Just over two minutes left in the first quarter. Up church on the return again. Another good return. And he gets it out to the 34 for us. All right, this time let's try right from the start with some, uh, some passing. Do a short pass. Incomplete. Uh, another short pass to Odoms. He catches it, but doesn't get the first down. We got a third and four. 
I'm going to do a look and pass to Moses, the flanker. And he catches it for the first down. Nice. Now let's go line buck with a pullback Ken Kennelsworth or Keyworth. And he gets a few yards, five yards there. Second and five. Let's go flat to the tight end. That's, I think, caught for a first or for uh, some yard, three yards. So we got a third and two. I'm going to go flat to the second tight end. Incomplete. Now, this is a tough call because I'm on the Dallas 45. Eh, yeah, I'll punt. In a close game like this, I really should punt. No guarantee we would pick up the first down. And it's into the end zone, so they'll have it on the 20. Come out looking for the pass, and he pitches to Dorsett, who gets five yards. We'll run and key on Dorsett. This time it's Robert Newhouse. So they got a third and three at the Dallas 20, or yeah, at their own 27. I'm going to look past. And it's incomplete. They should punt, and they will, it looks like. And they're punting from deep in their own end. I'm going to catch it and uh, run with it with Upchurch, that's for sure. And there was a penalty on the play and definitely going to accept the penalty. So we got a first and 10 um, at our 45. Let's try to air it out. I'm going to go long to the split end. Uh, he had to hit the uh, outlet man and he didn't. So... Let's go end run with Lytle. Uh, they're off sides, but yeah, we're going to accept the penalty. So we got a second and five um, at the 50. Uh, let's go flat to the tight end. That's going to be good for a first down. Gonna go short to the flanker Moses. And he sacked. Morton tried to run with it and was sacked. Second and 12. I guess we gotta go short again. Now we're in passing until we get the first down territory. And we will on that short pass. First and 10 at the Dallas 30 for our, our Denver Broncos. Let's go end run with Lytle. Oh, you're gonna lose a lot of yards, that's crazy. All right, second and 18 at the Dallas 38. Well, now we gotta go short, we gotta dig out of this hole again. And he does catch it, and but it doesn't quite get the first down, but at least it's a doable third down. Third and three at the Dallas 23. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And he catches it for the first down. So now we've got a first down. Deep in Dallas territory, I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback. And there is a flag on us, so we got a first and 15 at the, Dal at the uh, Dallas 21. Let's, let's do that again. Off tackle, Lytle. 
Yeah, he got past the, the front line, but um, only got five yards. So we got a second and ten. Go short to Upchurch. Aids incomplete. Hmm. All right. Uh, third and ten at the Dallas 16. Definitely short pass. To Moses. Incomplete. We're going to kick the field goal, of course. Jim Turner on, and he nails it. And we take a 10-7 lead in the Super Bowl. Now, if you recall, I said at the outset that Dallas won the game in real life 27-10, to so I've already gotten Denver as many points as they ended up getting in the entire Super Bowl. But that was a nice return by Dallas. Um, I'm going to run in Key Do House. And yeah, we nailed him deep. Now I'm going to put in the balanced. And it's Staubach out on the run, and we do finally get him, but not until he gets quite a few yards, and now they have a third and three. And I'm going to put in the run. I'm No, no, I'm going to put in the pass. And they do run. And they run. And run. And we finally do get him. I'm going to put in the run and key door set. 557 left in the half. And they have a second and nine at the Denver 18-yard line. I'm going to put in the general run. And they do run, and we are looking for it, and we do stop him, but they only have a third and two. I'm going to run and key door set. And there was a penalty on the play. Now they got a third and seven, so now I can put in the pass. And we are going to sack them deep. So they got a fourth and 16. They have to kick the field goal, too. And we're going to put in the kick block. But they nail it. So it is a tie game at 10. Much better Super Bowl than the real one was. Uh, this time I'm going to take it for a touchback. Let's try a short pass to Moses. He's going to be sacked. All right, let's try a short pass to the split end Dolben. And he's going to be sacked again. All right, well, this time I'm just going to do a line buck with a fullback and try to get us out of there. And he gets us a little bit of breathing room, so now we're going to punt. And they return it to into our territory, I believe. Yep, they've got it at our 40. But we were looking for the run, and we got Pearson in the backfield. They got a second and 14 at their own 44 now. I'm going to put in the pass. And it's incomplete, out of bounds. Putting in the pass, third and 14. And they're out of field goal range. And, they're, and we're going to stop them inside the field of play. And, yeah, they're going to punt, and we'll punt return. Pretty evenly matched game. 
Not sure what happened in the real one. I was only 12 years old. In fact, I was 11 years old when it was actually played. I was 12 later that year. Um, off tackle with the halfback. Let's go flat to the tight end. He had everybody on him, so no. Third and eight, there's a minute left in the half. Let's go short to the flanker. And he makes it, and the first down, nice. I mean, I don't know if we're really going to be able to score here, 30 seconds left. And really, I'm content to go into halftime at 10-10. One second left, let's just launch it then, long to the flanker. And it's incomplete, and that should be it. And it is, and we are kicking off to Dallas to open the second half of the game. Butch Johnson on the return. He gets a good return out to the 26. I'm going to run and key on door set. And he gives it to Newhouse. But Newhouse still gets stacked up in the backfield. So they got a second and 12. I'm going to do the general run. And they do run the ball, and we do get um, their running back in the backfield. So it's third and 12. I'm putting in the pass. And it's incomplete, so they have to punt from relatively deep. Danny White on the punt again. Yeah, I'm definitely returning this. Rick Upchurch gets us to the 41. So we have a first and 10 at our 41. Let's go off tackle with the halfback. And there is a flag, and it was on us. So we got a first and 25. Uh, we're going to have to go short. We got to get this out of here because there's no way we're running it out. And that was a nice pass, and it, that makes everything doable now again. We got a second and 10 from the 41. So now we can go back to more conventional means. We'll go a short or a flat to the split end. And it's incomplete. So now we got a third and 10. We do have to go short again. I'll go short to up church. And it's incomplete. So we're punting. Eleven thirty four left on the third quarter here. I'm going to put in the general run. And he is passing. Staubach back to pass. And we weren't looking for it, so he got the first down. Let's go general pass again. No, he runs it. But we do stop Dorsett after only one yard. I'm going to go look and pass again. I'm guessing Denver had a really good run defense, and so we can kind of offset not looking for the run when they do with the great defense. But um, they got a third and four now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in the pass. And they run it, and we don't stop them, but we do maybe. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to fall on the ball. So Dallas turns it over, and we have the ball first and 10 at the Dallas 46. Let's try a long. Let's come out and throw it long and see what happens. 
See if we can pick it up. Can we? Yes, we can. Nice pass by Morton. So we've got a first and 10 at the Dallas 14. And we will go off tackle with a halfback. And he gets stopped really quickly, right at the line maybe. So let's see, second and 10. Let's try to pass it into the end zone. There is a flag, but they're letting us play, so it might be on Dallas. And it's incomplete. Uh, huh. Well, it's still second and 10. Let's go line buck with the halfback. They won't be looking for that. Maybe it'll help. No, no, they nailed it deep in the backfield. All right, third and 11. We're going short. Short to Upchurch worked last. Well, it worked. I don't know if it worked. And it's incomplete, so we're going to have to kick a field goal. Dallas does have, I'll say this, they have a good defense. It's been hard. Oh, they rejected it, knocked it back. They stopped the field goal. That was crazy. Man, this Dallas D, the doomsday defense, they aren't kidding. 7.18 left. They have the ball first and 10 at their 26. Um, I'm going to run and key on door set. And uh, they ran it with somebody else, looks like. so. But they have a second and six. I'm going to put in the run defense. Just the general overall run defense. And they run it with Newhouse, and we get him. So they have a third and seven. Now I'm going to put in the pass. They do pass, and it's complete. And we stop him right after he catches the ball, so there's no yak on that. We're going to go back to looking for the run. No, Staubach's passing and going deep, but missing his man. Second and 10, I'm going to look run again. Because that's, oh, we're off sides. They got a first and 10 at the 50. I guess they took the yards. Um, we're going to put in the general run. Team does love to run, but if you had Dorsett and Newhouse, you probably would too. I'm going to put in the run. Second and six, we do stop him before he gets the first down, but now he has a third and three. I'm going to, I'm putting in the run again. I think they're going to run again. And they do. And we do stop him. So now he has a decision to make. Fourth and one. And he's going to go for it. And I'm putting in the run. There's no way. In fact, I'm putting in the run and key door set. And we keep door set. But he fumbles. Do we get it? Do we get a chance? Yeah, I'm going to fall on the ball. So, yes, we got it back. We have a first and 10 at our 36. So, that's the, what, second turnover by Dallas? I'm going to try to pass it. And he does get the first down. So, 209 left in the third. We have a first and 10 at the 49. I am going to go off tackle with the halfback. Got to go back to this every once in a while. And Lytle breaks free for some serious yards. So we got a first and 10 at the Dallas 33 in a 10-10 game with a minute 33 left in the third quarter. We're going to go uh, flat to the tight end. And we're going to get the first down, I think. Yep, first and 10 at the Dallas 23 with 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Going to go end run with the halfback. And he does get some yards. Second and four, we got a six yard gain on first down. So let's go off tackle with the first, with the uh, fullback. 
Uh, he only gets back to the line of scrimmage, looks like. No, one yard. He got a yard. So we got a third and three. I'm going to try uh, line buck with a halfback. And he does get it. Nice. So we got a first and goal. And we have entered the fourth quarter. First and goal on the Dallas 10. Let's go end run with a halfback. And he gets some yards. Second and goal to Dallas six. Off tackle with a fullback. And he gets some yards. We got a third and goal to Dallas two. Huh. I'm going to go line buck with... Um, I'm going to go line buck with Perrin. Ooh, he gets so close. All right, so now here's the question. Do we kick the field goal right here and go up 13-10? Or do I try to nail it in? I'm going to try to go for it. I'm putting in the blocking back. We're going to go line buck with Perrin. If we don't make it, we give Dallas the ball right there. And he makes it. Touchdown. A little bit of a gutsy call there, but I had to do it. We'll do the extra point, and we'll go up, hopefully, 17-10. And we're kicking off. 12.52 left in the, in the game. Unless Dallas ties it. I am going to put in the run, although he is going to probably start passing more because he's behind. But we did get him in the backfield, I think, right? No gain. All right. So second and 10. Now I'm going to put in the pass. I think he's going to pass now. Now he, oh yeah, he is. Well, he's, it's Staubach on the run on a bootleg. And he gets six yards. So we got a third and four. I'm going to put in the pass. And he does catch it. I'm going to put in the run. I mean, he's still got time, even though he's behind. So I'm going to put in the run again. Second and five. And he does run, but we don't get him. Gonna put in the run again. We can't seem to stop him running. Now he's passing. Staubach back to pass. Looks like incomplete. Staubach, I'm surprised, has really not been that sharp this game. Put in the run again. They pass instead, and it's gonna be incomplete again. So now we are definitely looking for the pass. <clears throat> And it's intercepted. And I'm going to try to return it. All right, well, he didn't get any yards, but at least we intercepted Staubach. So we have a first and 10 at our 40. Let's go off tackle with the halfback, Lytle. And we get some yards, second and six. I'm kind of surprised this game is unfolding like this. I mean, Dallas's defense has been as advertised, but the offense really has not been. I'm going to try a flat to the tight end, and it's incomplete. Uh, third and six. I'm going to I'm going to go flat again this time to the split end. And we're very close again. And now I have a decision to make. And I am going to go for it again because we're near midfield. Now, you know what? I really shouldn't do that, should I? I'm going to, though. 
I'm going to put in the same formation I put in last time. And we're going to go line by with the fullback, just like I did last time. And he gets the first down and more. So another gutsy call by the Denver coach, the new Denver coach, not Red Miller, but Sportsman Z. And we're going to go in and do a flat pass to the tight end. I mean, af after all, I am trying to rewrite history here. You don't re rewrite history without taking a few risks. We got a second and three. I'm going to put in the off the old off tackle with the halfback or fullback. And he gets the first down. He was moving slowly, too. The Dallas defense couldn't pick up on a slow running for fullback, lumbering fullback, and stop him before he got the first down. So we have a first and 10 with 6.13 left in the game at the Dallas 32. I am going to go flat to the tight end. And that is caught. Yeah, it is. Second and five at the Dallas 27. Now we're in field goal range for Jim Turner, you would think. Going to go end run with Lytle. And he gets the first down and a lot more. Now we're, now we're definitely in Jim Turner's range and a two-score lead. <clears throat> I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback. Lumbering again, and this time they do get him in the backfield. So let's go line buck with the halfback Armstrong. Mainly, I'm just trying to eat time. So we got a third and goal at the Dallas three. 411 left. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And he just misses his target. So we are going to kick the field goal. This time we will, because this puts us up by two scores with only 355 left in the game. So the kickoff <clears throat> goes to Brinson. And now I'm just now I'm looking for the pass because <clears throat> he's got to make up two scores in three minutes and 22 seconds. <clears throat> so, it, it, you know, facing that, I'll let him run the ball all he wants, especially on the Orange Crush defense. Incomplete. They got a third and ten. 2.43 left. There was a penalty on the play. It was on him, so we'll definitely. Now they're just self-destructing. Fourth and 15. They got to go for it. And that's going to be incomplete. So we got a first and 10. Yeah, and then the computer puts in Norris Weiss for me. All right, well, I mean, I guess that's fine. I'll let Norris Weiss play. I mean, he did in real life, right? <clears throat> 207 left. Let's go short to the second tight end. Let's let Weiss see what Weiss can do. I mean, I love the name, and he does pass it for a first down. First and goal, we're going to go um, off tackle with Lytle. And he gets a yard or two. Yeah. Second and goal at the Dallas three. Let's go short to Keyworth. And he misses him. Of course, it is Norris Weiss. Third and goal, I'm going to go draw play 
No, I'm not, I guess. Guess we're gonna go, I'm gonna go line buck with Perrin. They aren't looking for the run. Okay, he hemmed it up. Um, you know what, though, we might as well go for the, we might as well go for the touchdown because we're still up two scores and kicking a field goal really still only makes us up two scores. So I'm going to go short pass to the split end. And it, I guess that was, yeah, all right. So Dallas has the ball, but they have the ball at their own three. And they got to get two scores, and they got to go the length of the field here. And that's an incomplete pass. I guess he, no, he didn't even complete it, so... Second and 10. We're looking pass all the way. And it's, I think it was incomplete. Yep. So they got a third and 10. Offensively, I'm surprised Dallas played pretty poorly in this game. Overall. First and 10 at the uh, Dallas 17. We'll guess the pass. And it looks like I'm going to move to 2-0 and in replay games, taking the losing team of the Super Bowl. I'll have to do this again. And we sack Staubach. 15 seconds left. This could be the last play of the game. And we sack Staubach again. And he has one second left. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass, I suppose, on 4th and 22. And he tried to bootleg it out, and the game is over. So let's go... Let's look at the report. Get the box score for this. And you can, uh, I'm scrolling past, you can look at the stats here. Third down efficiency for Dallas was only 27%. For us was only 31%, though. Fourth down efficiency, though, for us was 67%. And for him, 0%. Red zone efficiency for Dallas was 71%. For us, only 37 Total net yards rushing for Dallas was 119, for us 101. You, I mean, you look at these stats, you would think they won the game. But now you get down to Staubach. Let's see. Staubach was 9 of 24 for only 102 yards and an interception. Morton was 17 of 30 for 167 yards. And Weiss was 1 for 2 for 14 yards. Robert Newhouse had 12 carries for Dallas for 27 yards. Tony Dorsett had 10 carries for 66 yards. And Staubach had 4 for 20. For us, Rob Lytle had 11 carries for 48 yards. Otis Armstrong had 9 for 19. And John Keyworth had 6 for 18. Lonnie Perrin, 4 for 10. And notably, he had a touchdown. So really, offensively, statistically, you really couldn't tell much. And really, our defense, I mean, here's the game story. With a good effort, Denver toppled Dallas by the score of 20 to 10. Craig Morton passed, for, passed 30 times for 167 yards. Denver won the air battle, outpassing Dallas 181 to 102. And the game was tied at the half, 10-10. So, 
Yeah, I mean, a good game. The final score of the real game was 27-10 Cowboys. This game, the same, almost the same score, but the other way, with Denver beating Dallas 20-10. And that's where I'm going to end this, and that's it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke with another replay in the books and another win of the losing team in a replayed Super Bowl. And I will see you next video. Sportsman Z, signing off.